because little kids just like scream. Oh, I actually really like dropping just I, I get anxiety when we're at the top. And like sometimes I feel like I look like a gorilla. Not sometimes. Oh, I like this song. So it's 6.50 in the morning, and as you can see from these eyes, Marcus is a little tired, so I'm just going to hand the vlog to Emily. Here you go. Hi, I'm Emily. Good morning, YouTube. This is Emily, Marcus's sister, and today we are going to Sydney. As you can see, we've got all our bags ready to go to the airport, and we're all very tired and a little grumpy like this one here. Bye. <laughs> Um, honestly too tired to function at the moment, so from this point forth until we get to Sydney, just expect some like flashy shots and that. It feels like only two weeks ago we were going to Alice Springs and we're already like back on the scene. hotel room won't be ready for another two hours or so and we're just going for a stroll and our hotel is like two seconds from the river but look this is this is about a one minute walk from our hotel so pretty much we've been in Sydney for about two hours now we went to our hotel the room wasn't ready yet so we went and got a feed for lunch and Sydney is completely chock-a-block with people like it's just it's nothing compared to Adelaide it's savage everybody's doing everything everyone's busy everything's packed and the buildings are so much bigger and it's a lot to take in Ooh, shit too many people makes me nervous <laughs> Okay, so the room's ready. We're at the hotel now. We pretty much just went and got a feed, walked around, and got our grasp of the it. area around this hotel. And now we're gonna go check out the room. Alright, so pretty much the story with these rooms is that Emily and I get our own little like one-person room here, and Mum, Dad, and Ariel get to go in a bigger version of this room, higher up with a better view. I would say it's pretty cool though, because me and Emily get a room to ourselves, and like it's actually a nice room. Just it's a madhouse. So. Everything far away from their madhouse is still more madhouse than our madhouse. So pretty much in summary, Sydney's most least populated areas and full of high-rise buildings are still more populated and high-rise than our most popular. So their outskirts are still bigger and more filled than our most filled area in Adelaide. Two hours later from that point, we've spent the whole time organising what we're going to do in Sydney. Right now we're going to go to the aquarium while Mum and Emily are shopping yeah, and then we're going to go out for dinner. But yeah, aquarium now. <laughs> So now we're heading down further into the aquarium to see like the more rare fish like stingrays and sharks, sharks. and dolphins and all that, like all the bigger, more interesting fish. We're home. I'm naked. I'm naked. All right, we're back at the hotel now. I'm actually pretty like knackered, like really, really tired from walking around today and the plane flight. So I really want to take it easy. I'm kind of getting grumpy, but tomorrow's going to be a good day. We're doing heaps of shit. And yeah, our dinner reservations in like 30 minutes and we're just going to chill because our hotel's so like within the CBD, we're close to everything. We can legit just walk our hotel, our little restaurant thing we're going to is like five minutes away on the water. So yeah. 
So, I was gonna go for the whole tucked in skater shirt look fucking thing, but then I decided I look like a fucking nerd. So I went without. I still look like a dag. Maybe I'll change my shirt. What are you doing? Ready? See when no one wants to talk to you? Stop! Stop! So first meal for Sydney, I'd say was a 8 out of 10. It looked like 10 out of 10 and then tasted like 8 out of 10. So I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. But it was really, really good. Good first feed for the first night in Sydney. And now we're off to just go explore a bit more. All right, so thoughts on first day in Sydney? It is a madhouse. It's, it's a madhouse. Everything's still open. It, it's savage. I bet you Glenelg town, everything would be shut in Adelaide, but yeah. here, it's not even like It's only just getting started, time. yeah. It's savage in Marcus's work. Yeah, it's, no, it is savage. It's, it's like, savage. It's, it's a wank. It's, no, it's not, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to It's be like 50 Adelaides yeah. with yeah. like 200 times more people and, so and better bridges. everything. And everybody's awake and they're not watching like The Bachelor or something. Yeah, like people are actually it. doing shit here. <laughs> Sydney's so much better. Sydney's amazing. Alright, so word on the street has it we're getting on that Ferris wheel. Seems kind of cliche, but I actually want to go on one because I haven't been on one for like all my life. <laughs> word when it's like big build up and then like no, it's like uh, anti climactic. Is that the one? Anti-climax. Anti... Fuck! So that's it for day one in Sydney. Um, Emily and Dad want to go to the casino. I'm not old enough. Mum doesn't want to walk anymore, so we're going to go back to the hotel and there's not much more to film. So if you like this one, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it into a vlog or a separate Come over video. Here. But, um, so we can, you know, talk to you. like, you know, uh, we don't need to yell. No. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And that's about it. Tune in for the rest of the videos that we have here in Sydney because we're going to be here for another five days and there's more interesting shit to come. When you have a little 11 year old sister who could not give half a shit what people think. <laughs> Look at her face!